Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards here for Happy Doodle today and I am creating a fun little one layer card with some masking today. I'm really enjoying making these kind of simpler cards at the moment and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I am using the Quack Me Up stamp set here. I do have the coordinating dies for them but I will just be using the stamps as I say I'm going to be doing some masking. And then I have the Heffy Doodle Mini Scalloped Imperial Rectangle Dies. I'm going to be using that second largest one there, which I have used to cut out this piece of white cardstock. So I stamped out all of my images and I used some masks to mask them off. And now I'm going to do some ink blending. So I have some of the Heffy Doodle Memo Tape here, which I'm going to use to mask off certain areas of my um, card front here so that I can create a little bit of an inked background. So I am going to mask off the top and the bottom and then I'm going to get one more piece of masking tape. I am just trying to be careful that I've got everything straight. <laughs> so I was trying to count the number of scallops and I was like looking at it and it didn't look straight and I pulled it up and I tried again, I was counting the scallops and I was like, yeah, it's definitely right. Same on each side, I'm just <laughs> double checking. Um, but yeah, eventually I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So I'm going to pull out one more piece of masking tape and I'm going to use it to mask off a piece of ground down here where that puddle area is. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to pull out some ink and I'm using the Concord and Ninth Dove ink, which is a kind of lightish grey colour. And I'm just going to kind of um, roughly go over that masked off area at the bottom there. I want this to look like a bit of pavement so that my um, little duck here looks like he's walking along the pavement with all the puddles on it and it's quite fitting because it has been raining quite heavily in the UAE um, today and we're expecting more rain tomorrow which is quite unusual for us. I live in the desert so rain is not a normal everyday occurrence <laughs> so it's kind of a novelty for us and um, yeah there's been quite a lot of rain and hence the reason sorry I should apologize that my lighting has been a little bit off today because it's quite dark outside and cloudy so um, as I say very unusual for us. Okay, so next up I've moved that mask down to cover that pavement area and I'm going in here with some cracked pistachio distress ink and I'm just kind of going roughly over the background fairly lightly and once that is done I'm going to be doing um, some cloud stenciling on top. But I just wanted to create a little base of that colour first and then I'm going to pull out my cloud stencil here and add some more of that colour kind of more concentrated to create the clouds. Now I kind of like having that base of it down first so it's a little bit more subtle and um, not quite so stark as going direct onto the white paper if that makes sense. Um, so I just like the way that this looked. It's a little bit softer and I do like this cracked pistachio ink for for skies. I know it's kind of a greenish kind of ink, but I do kind of like it. Um, it's just something slightly different to your average normal blue. And I thought given that it's a cloudy day, then it could be a slightly different colored cloud. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the ink blending of that here. I'll add just a touch more at the bottom just to smooth it all out. And then comes the fun part of moving all the masks, which I always enjoy doing because it's like a little bit of magic. So there's my little pavement, my cloudy sky, and I can start peeling off the masks of my little um, images here as well to get those nice stamped areas underneath. So I'm using my tweezers to help me a little bit here. Um, and I will save those masks because you can reuse them two or three times and it saves you recutting them each time you want to do some masking. I don't do masking a huge amount, but as I say, I've really kind of been enjoying doing some um, flatter, more kind of clean and simple cards lately. So maybe I'll be doing some more. So there's my little fun image and it's all ready to color in. So before I do that, I wanted to add a few little details. So my umbrella, I initially stamped it so it looked like the umbrella stand was kind of going behind the duck's wings. I decided I didn't like that, so I just added kind of the handle in there. And then I just added a little kind of ring around his neck because I want to turn my duck into a mallard duck. So um, I kind of wanted that little ring there so it looks like he's got his little green head and then the rest of his body is going to be brown. 
So I am using my Ahuhu markers here today and I'm holding them up to the camera there so hopefully you can see which colours I am using. So I went with a nice kind of bright green, emerald green kind of colour for his head. I'm using some darker brown markers on his neck and the base of his wings and then I'll go in with a lighter kind of um, brown colour combination for the rest of his body. And I did have a quick google of what a mallard duck looked like because I couldn't quite I knew they had a green head but I couldn't quite remember the rest of them so um had a quick quick look on google to give me some ideas of color combinations and this is what I came up with and I think they turned out pretty good I did go over those lighter brown colors a couple of times because they did kind of wash out um some of the other color particularly using that wg01 I believe it is so it makes it a little bit paler so normally when I'm colouring a duck or a bird, I would probably do the beak and the feet in the same in colour combinations. But what I noticed when I googled it was that the duck's beak was a lot yellower than its feet, which were quite orange. So I decided to use that kind of colour combination here and I added in a more orange kind of foot to him rather than uh, using the same colour for beak and feet. And I think it looks quite sweet. Obviously, you don't have to go <laughs> this detailed, but I just thought it was fun. Uh, next up, I'm going to colour in the puddle here. And again, I'm going for that more kind of um, tealy bluish green colour combination rather than a straight blue. I wanted it to kind of tie in a little bit more with the sky up there. So just using a bit more of that. Um, kind of aqua color rather than a straight blue. I'll color in the puddle and those little drips that I've stamped where he looks like he's kind of stomping in the puddle. Once the puddle and the little drips are done, I just have the umbrella left to do. So I decided to do a um, rather bright umbrella. So I'm using some kind of gray markers to look like a silver handle. And then I was thinking about the color combination for the umbrella because obviously it's a little bear. And I thought about doing like a panda. I thought about doing a brown bear. In the end, I decided just to go completely off the scale and you, you do a yellow umbrella. I just wanted a really nice bright pop of color to really brighten up this card and make it a little bit more fun. So I decided to go for a yellow color combination. But you could really go to town with this little umbrella. I think it's lots of fun. Rainbow colors would be super cute as well. Um, but I do think a little panda would be quite a fun one to do. But yeah, as I say, decided to go with yellow for my one. So once the little umbrella is done, I realized I hadn't pulled out a pink marker to do kind of the inside of his ears. So I um, did hunt around for a pink marker. That was, yeah, I did use one of the same browns for his little nose. And I pulled it, I ended up pulling out quite a bright pink, um, but I think it works quite nicely. So I used it for his little ears and to add some cheeks to that little umbrella. Once that was done, I pulled out my Secura White Jelly Roll pen here. This is the 08 size, so it's kind of like a medium size, I would say. And I'm just going to add some white gel pen details all over my little image here. I realized that I hadn't colored the very top of my umbrella, so I just grabbed that gray marker to fill that in. And then I'll carry on with my white gel pen details. So I did try to add a kind of little like um like a little splash ring <laughs> kind of around where his little foot is in the puddle um it's just a little added extra to kind of make it look like the the water is moving where he's kind of jumped in it there. Again, I'm never quite sure um which well where to put my gel pen but I just kind of go with the flow and have a bit of fun with it I don't think it's a huge deal and um, if it doesn't look quite perfect I think it's okay but there he is my little finished duck and I think he's so super cute so off camera I did go ahead and stamp that sentiment which comes from the same stamp set it says you really quack me up and I just thought that was really sweet I have a standard sized five and a half by four and a quarter white card base and I have this lovely bright yellow plaid paper here which I'm going to use to pop down on top of my card base and I have just left a sixteenth of an inch all the way around that just for that little white border to show through. Once that is down, all that's left to do is to attach my card front down on top. I'm using some foam tape to do that, just to pop it up and add a little bit of added dimension to what is otherwise a pretty simple, clean card. But I really love how it turned out. 
It's so super fun and that nice bright pop of yellow really brings it to life. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the Happy Doodle channel. We would love to have you come back and join us again. Keep an eye out for any of our future videos. And in the meantime, here are a couple of other videos that you might enjoy watching for now. But thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Take care. Bye.